am Cynthia Dees Brooks. I am the CEO and founder of Soul Force Enterprise. And I am, uh, in relation to Ms. Sheila Sheldon Charles, have been uh, honored to meet her through Tessie Foundation, which is Natalie. My name is Natalie Minya. I'm the director of Tessie Foundation, and um, we invited Sheila, um, as well as 10 of our other lionesses who we're calling women from Africa and girls from Africa that have done amazing works in their field. Um, they're actually here um, for events that we have November 4th and 5th. Um, the November 4th is a women and girls tea only. We want to create a space for women and girls to thrive, celebrate each other and raise funds for girls. Um, and we will have our special guests there uh, from many different countries, many different fields and interests and, and um, successes. And uh, the next day we have the African Lioness Symposium where Sheila and her mom will be featured. We're also interviewing her there and uh, we're expecting hundreds and hundreds of people mm -hmm. and it's really a space for us to celebrate. We call it um, Empowering a Generation Reflections of African Women and Girls. So we're trying to get the narratives of African women and African girls um, like Sheila who's about to speak and share her, not only her her talent, but her wisdom as mm. well, just as nine years old. My name is Vivian Adembutieno. I'm the mother to the young artist Sheila Sheldon Charles. Mm -hmm. She's uh, my firstborn. I have two children and uh, I, uh, I thank God for having Sheila. I am Jacqueline Smithson Howard and I am a poet, storyteller, ghostwriter, author, and all around um, adventurer of the creative arts. I heard you talking a lot about women yes. and wanting to empower women. I even heard this one over here talk about lionesses. Is there one thing that happened to you in your life that, that made you say, you know what, I need to stand up for women? My mom, when I was um, studying my, when I was five years old, and uh, my mom noticed my talent. She started having issues in her stomach. Um, she did three operations and three or more to come. And then I decided because I was two in the fa we are two in the family. I decided that I should draw because um, we really depend on our father because he sometimes he go to work and sometimes um, he's not called. I decided that I should draw because I really wanted to help my mom with uh, everything because she needed to uh, pay the rent, put food on the table, and make us go to school. And that's why I said I should stand for women because my mom, she's an example of the many African women who work tirelessly to support their families. Wow, <laughs> so so you your crusade for women started out from your personal crusade of just wanting to help your mom. Yes. That's very powerful. And and coincidentally, it just so happens that you started drawing and you were very, very, very good. I saw those paintings and I would like a copy of a picture of that lion one. That would be really, really, really nice. But I'm wondering, how does a nine-year-old girl go from this amazing talent from painting to fashioning clothes for the president of Kenya. How does that happen? <laughs> um, art goes with designing and I design my clothes. Then I I have a tailor who mm. makes for me my dresses. You have a tailor? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then I wear my clothes and I model with them. Very, very cool. So this dream of yours of um, meeting Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey it's probably going to come true. I hope one of them watches this video, sees Jacqueline Howard, sees all of you lovely ladies, and wants to bring that to fruition. Don't forget the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> Take him Don't with you. Forget Tell him you have your own private the camera. cameraman. Um, is there anything, young lady, would you like to tell the people come in video me. land before yes. we get off? Before we get off here. Come to. Tessie Foundation. Mm -hmm. I'll be there and uh, you can meet me live. Nice! <laughs> November 4 and 5. <laughs> November 4 and 5. <laughs> nice. Okay, ladies. Thank you so thank much for you. your time. I am Jacqueline Howard and I come on Thursday nights to Rhythm and Poetry because I am a poet, an author, and storyteller. 
and I perform at all the local venues here in Sacramento. And rhythm and poetry um, kind of be became my second home. And so when we moved here to the Brazilian Center um, four months ago, I thought this is the perfect space because it is, it is appropriately named the Brazilian Center for Cultural Exchange. And, and having people from different countries aligning with all of these creatives that are already here, we get to teach each other what we want to share with each other.